What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel once again. It's ya yeah boy. I'm the only one who's ever on this channel anymore. Someone come react to songs with me. <laughs> anyway, uh, today we are going to check out In Gloom, and the song is God the Animal featuring Kyle of Brand of Sacrifice. This one was requested by someone who I have been watching on YouTube for about a year or two now, The Randiness. He's a fellow metal reactor, and when I found out he watches my shit, kind of blew my mind, and still kind of makes me fanboy a little bit. So, Randy, I can't even tell you how much I appreciate you, you know, supporting other reactors like yourself, and uh, I've been watching you for a long time. Keep it up, man. We're going to go ahead and leave a link in the description down below to this original video so you guys can check it out. And we're also going to leave a link in the description down for Randy's channel because he's a hell of a lot more entertaining than I am anyway. So uh, this one's a lengthy one. This is a six minute song. So uh, stick it out with me. Finding the pile of laundry in my wet, dangerous barn made me think about what it would be like if God the animal bit me with his razor-sharp fangs. God has <coughs> huge poisonous fangs, and he loves to bite people who follow the rules. If you follow the rules, God's going to kill you with his long teeth, and I love knowing that. I'm sorry, but what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, I was raised in church. I wasn't taught any of that shit. Uh, what? Grandy, what what did you what did you get me watching, man? You know, I've seen a lot of unsettling videos. I've seen a lot of creepy videos. This has to be in the top five for most unsettling things I've watched in recent history. Uh, I'm not sure as to what the fuck they are. They kind of look like, I don't know, man. They kind of look like the clay characters they used to make the Wallace and Gromit videos out of. But it's, I don't, I don't know. I'm And there's blood everywhere. And... They don't look like people. They look like they got mutated. And uh, th is this what happens when you're in Chernobyl for too long? Like, is that why they only let you go there for like an hour at a time? trying to keep up with this but there's just there's so much going on visually and musically it's just it's really hard to it's hard to focus honestly there's just a lot going on i'm still trying to figure out what the fuck they are the music's fucking cool i love it uh i mean 
I don't know what you would call that vocal style because I'm not a vocalist and anytime I say anything, some vocalist in the comment, it's like, actually, it's called this. But I really dig the vocal style that he's using. Uh, while it is a relatively common style, he doesn't sound just like everybody else. So he took a common style and kind of made it his own sound, which I think is cool. And um, whoever came up with this music video... I'll give you the fact that you have a very creative mind, but uh, like m maybe some therapy might benefit you because like normal people don't think of this. I love that tone. It's chunky. I love that little lead section behind everything. It fits everything so perfectly. I mean, it's very simplistic. It's very, I mean, I guess you could even say it's very minimalist as far as what he's doing, but it adds a nice ominous effect to everything that goes on. And it adds a little bit of a, a little bit of a lighter feel to this just straight dark and brutality that we have going on right now. So it's it's kind of like the suspense music that they put in the jump scare of the horror movie to make it just a little bit more intense. I love it. It's cool. I had, to, I had to pause it right before the breakdown because I know it's about to happen. But no, I really I dig this because it's so it's so heavy, but it keeps getting bouncy and then it gets really fast. And I love I love transitions like that where it goes to the really fast stuff, really bouncy head bobby stuff, and then back to being really fast. I love that, and uh, I'm terrified for this breakdown because I know it's gonna hurt. So I backed it up just a smidge. <laughs> So low! Ow! God is real, but he doesn't do anything.
What is... I... That was... Holy fuck, that was one of the most... That was so fucking heavy. Like, how? How did you do that? What kind of... What kind of practice regimen did you practice to be able to do that vocally? What kind of juice did you drink? What kind of juice did you... That was... Holy shit. I'm gonna have to check out more In Gloom. I don't think I mentioned this before I started the video, but I had never listened to In Gloom. I don't even think I had heard of them before Randy had suggested them. So, Randy, thank you so much. You never disappoint with your suggestions as well as your channel. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like on the video, comment, let's talk about it. Suggest me some more stuff like this because I like this a lot. And we're going to go ahead and leave a link in the description to Randy's reaction of this song too because like I said, he's way more entertaining than me and I love the guy. So, I'll see you guys at the next one.